We're inside the rotunda at the University of Virginia. We're in the process of preparing to head into phase two of the renovation project. And the first part of that is to empty the building of some of our most important cultural artifacts. The task ranges from a small silver biscuit box all the way up to the statue of Jefferson behind me. It's been quiet this week, which is very good because that gives us a moment to slowly and carefully begin to pack and remove some of the important decorative arts that have been in the building. We have a tall case clock that has a long history of being at the university. When you come in, you'll hear it ticking and periodically chiming. Often very typical of tall case clocks, people leave behind bits of history. The grandfather clock is the property of the University of Virginia, procured by William Barton Rogers between 1835 and 1853. It's kind of heavy too. Behind me we have the Galt statue which uh, was given to the university by the state of Virginia in the 1850s. One of the interesting bits of history is the times that it's had to leave the building. One of the more unusual ones was when the, the building burned in 1895. A group of students literally had to pick it up and carry it out of the building. It's made of marble and it's very, very heavy. And so the people that we've hired will come in with a gantry and a big crate, and they'll move the crate into the hall here and gently lift Jefferson, move the crate in, and then set Jefferson down. These artifacts have a significance locally to the University of Virginia, to the state of Virginia, to the nation, and some of them to the world. We made an effort to try to keep some of these on view during this time. So we've been able to find a location at Special Collections where we can exhibit the most significant of these artifacts, and we've been able to find a place to keep them on view during the two years that the building is closed.